I recently had a friend come to me and say that they wanted to pay off their credit card. And they wanted a spreadsheet to, to check their progress. They weren't going to add any charges, just chip away at it until the balance was down to zero. And so I helped them create a very simple spreadsheet to do that. If you're brand new to Excel, uh, let me show you how to add a few simple commands to do a project somewhat like that. You could also do a project to save money toward a particular goal. But here in this case, we'll use it to track debt reduction in a very simple way. So I'm going to give this a title. I'll click on A1. We'll call it Credit Card Payoff. And I'll hit Enter, and my cursor will move down as it normally does. I'll click back on the cell, and we'll change the font uh, type. We'll change the font color by clicking up here, and I'll change the font size. The other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to center this over the first five columns. So I'll hold the mouse down on cell A1 and drag to the right till E1 and let go. And then with the Home tab selected, I'm going to click on Merge and Center. And so there's my little title. Now the first piece of information I want to put in is my current balance. And so let's say it's uh, $2,986.49. I put that in and press Enter. Now I need to format that so I know that's money. So I'll click back on the cell. And in my number area with the Home tab again, I'm going to click down and use Currency. And then I'll click to the cell to the left of that. We'll just call it Initial Balance. Now you notice it was truncated because it didn't have enough room. What I'm going to do in this case is click back on the cell, choose my alignment key, and I will right align it over here. And now it fills the cell to the left. So that's my initial balance. And I, I think I'm actually going to put a box around it so it stands out, or I could, I could give it maybe a color here. I'll use my bucket, paint bucket tool. Click down here, we'll maybe shade this into this blue. And I'll also put a box around it using my uh, border command here. And it says outside borders, we'll draw a little box. So now that's very clear. This is where we start. Now let's start our table. Uh, I want to put the payment number here. And then we'll put the payment date and amount. And then we'll have our balance. Now to do our payment number, obviously we'll start out with one. So I'll put one in the first cell. And you notice numbers are all, all automatically uh, justified to the right. Now I could hit two, three, four, five, and six, but there's an easier way to do that. I'll use a formula here. I'll click in the cell and I'll type in equals. Then I click on the cell above it. It equals A4, which is one. And then I do my plus key. And I, then I add one. So it will add one to one, which should give me a result of two. Now that I have this formula, I can go ahead and click on this and I see the little green box at the lower right corner. I hold the mouse over that and I drag down. Let's go down number of rows here and let go. And that will actually copy that formula, which simply adds one to the number in, uh, above it. So here are, are my payments. Now let's do a date. We'll do uh, three, five, 18. And I might want to change the format of the date. Let's assume that I want to have this paid off in at least 40 payments. So again, I will click the cell here and click down through number 40. And we'll format our date. So we have number formats. I'm going to click on the little lower right arrow down here to give me maximum ability to change my formats. I'll click on the date. And let's say I want um, the date to be have a zero in front 
of the day, two digits for the month, and two for the year. So I'll click on this one and click on OK. And that will automatically format all my date cells. Now my amount and balance cells will also be dollars. So I'm going to click here, click on these, these cells here, drag down. And with those selected, again in my number area, I'll click on general and I'll make these currency as well. So the dollar signs are right next to the number. So those are formatted. I also want to format the header here. But we'll let Word or we'll let Excel do that in a special way in a moment. So let's say the amount is $50 for my first payment. And then to get the balance in the first cell, I'll use another formula. I will it'll be the equals key. It will equal my initial balance, which is cell D2, minus my first payment, which is my $50. So I click on cell C4 and press enter. And so this, these two numbers are $50 apart. This, I reduce my debt by 50. Now in the cell below it, let's put another fictitious payment in. Uh, 3, 15, 18. And let's we do $200. This will be, I'll, it will be plus the cell above it, my running balance. And then I do a hit the minus key. And then I click on cell C5, which is 200, and there we go. So we have a $200 difference. Now, I don't have to keep entering these formulas in manually now, because now I can copy this cell, not the first cell, but the second one, down repeatedly, because it will always be the cell above minus the cell to the left. So I click on <coughs> this uh, cell on cell D5, I'm going to copy the formula down like I copied the numbers down on the left side. So I click on the little green box at the lower right corner and drag down till I get to the end of my table or my range. And there we go. I've copied it down. So now I have all the formulas I need. I have all the formatting I need. I have the initial balance. What I can do now is I can take out the dates and the amounts because these might not be the actual ones I'll use. <clears throat> and we'll hit delete my delete key here. And so now the balance is not changed, <clears throat> but I can put in any date I want and any amount I want. And it will automatically <clears throat> track my balance my running balance. I can also change what my initial balance is. I'd like to do one more thing while I kind of make this generic and take out these payment amounts. One thing I would like to do is I'd like to format this a little bit differently. So I'm going to do my format as table. But before I do that, I want to select the part that I want to format. I'm going to take these headers here, number, date, amount, and balance then drag down all the way through cell number 40. So it, that's my area. Now I click on Format as Table. And this gives me a number of options so that I can use. Let's pick um, maybe this yellowish one over here. And I'll click on there. And it says, where is the data for your table? And it pick the area that I had already selected. It starts at cell A3 and moves down to cell D43. My table has headers because these, these titles here are my headers. That's good. Click on OK. And now it formatted my table. It does give me a filter button. In this case, I would recommend not using the filter because it's not too effective in this particular kind of situation. And so now I have a look at my table, nicely formatted. All I need to do is change the initial balance, press enter, and then begin entering in my payments and I can track my credit card payoff. A very simple way of using some common tools for beginners in Microsoft Excel.